Hi everyone, welcome to the Mama Elephant YouTube channel. This is Irina. Today we are going to take a look at Zodiac Horse. This is number seven of the Zodiac series. And as always, this set comes with a bunch of little accessories, including the matching balloon that you can use with your little animals. And remember, if you have any of the other Zodiac sets, you can always mix and match the different little stamps. Here's a look at the coordinating dice for Zodiac Horse. As always, the Zodiac sets come with a couple of U-shaped dies that you can place on top of their hands and you can have the image hold something. Today I'll be using the Arteza Rail Brush Markers to color in my horses. And these are the colors that I'm using. The Artezas are very similar to the Zig Real Clean Color Brush Markers, so you could also use that at, as well for a watercolor look. So I'm, I did stamp out my images using a VersaFine Onyx Black Ink on a Bristol Smooth cardstock. And then I'm just carefully coloring in my horse images. I colored them all pretty similar. And I like coloring the little snout in that little flesh tone color. And I just like, I, I love his, the little tuft of hair on top of his head. So I tried to do that a darker color or a lighter color based on what the body color is. But I did use all those different markers like in different combinations to color my horses and of course I'll top it off with some blush on the snout and blush on the inside of the ears as well. I really wanted to create a barn <laughs> for my horses so I'm kind of making my own barn. I kind of looked stared at barns and I was trying to figure out like what the elements of a barn was so they're typically red they typically have a darker inside and they typically have like a white sort of cross detail on the windows so I'm using my ornate house grid and I'm doing that in red and I've also colored the ornate house grid again in black and then I'm using those inside window pieces to fill in my house and then I'm kind of using like a darker gray background um, I wanted to make my card a little bit western themed so I'm kind of doing some darker colors with the browns um, I did stamp out the sentiment from the stamp set happy anniversary um, I did white heat emboss that and then I will also add the white X's. So I'm actually using the X from the Whimsy Alpha set that was uh, recently released. Um, and I'm just going to use it as little X's on the barn because I just kind of want to make this ornate house grid look more barn-like. Um, and I like the little X's because it was kind of... Um, like more casual because I wanted this card to look really casual. I found some other dies in my... Um, stash that would work also but I kind of wanted to have like a cartoon type look so that's why I use these X's and the X is narrower at the top than the bottom so then I'm making sure that I'm matching up the tops with the tops and the bottoms with the bottoms when I line it up so it looks um, more even so that is my barn that I fashioned together and I had a couple of scenery elements that were on my desk from my previous projects. So I just decided to go ahead and use them. I cut out a couple of these stuns from an older Mama Elephant die set called Stitch Sky. And I had the cloud as well from Stitch Sky. So I've been obsessed with this sun. I'm not sure why, but um, I am using it on both my cards today. And I again, I'm going kind of like for a Western look. This was really fun to make. I don't typically make more masculine type cards like this, but I really liked how they came out. So it inspired me to make my second card. Um, I have my horses here. I colored them all pretty similar and I'm just going to arrange them about. So this is an anniversary card. So I have my little horse holding the little flower. So cute. 
and then also I have that other little horse because I wanted to I wanted to use the balloon so that little horse is holding the horse balloon and that horse balloon is so so cute so I'm going to have the horse sort of flying away so then I'll have three horses on my card I'm just popping up all these images using a foam tape and then I'm kind of being careful because I kind of want everything to be even so I'm watching where I'm putting my foam tape here's a look at the completed card I just love it so here's my second card. I finally went downstairs to get my press and seal because I will be needing it for my placement for my letters. I am using the Whimsy Alphas um, set and I cut out the letters to spell howdy. I thought that was like a cute little Western type greeting that I could use. So now I'm just kind of placing my letters and I'm trying to find the perfect placement. I'm using my T-square ruler, which is really helpful. And my ruler broke, so <laughs> it's totally taped together, but it still works. Um, so once I have the perfect placement on my letters, then I will take my press and seal which will grab onto the letters and it'll keep it in its perfect placement. And I'm just gonna set that aside until I need it. Um, so see how it stays on the press and seal there? And it's perfect. So I'm gonna put set that aside. I did use the mini birthday messages stamp set to stamp out this sentiment. It's a birthday sentiment, hugs and it kisses, and a ton of birthday wishes. And I did stamp that out in brown ink. I believe I used um, Versafine sepia, vintage sepia. And so I'm kind of making a little scene here. I've cut out some craft paper using the wood grain cover die. And then I cut out the wood grain cover die and I used one of the landscape trio dies to make a hill because I kind of wanted to make some atmosphere for my horses. I'm ready for my sentiment so it's super easy to put the glue when it's on top of the press and seal. And then you take it and then you put it on top where you want. You can align it up and then you'll press down on the letters and then you can peel the press and seal off and it's perfect. It's so magical. I don't know why I just started doing this. I knew about this a long time ago, but I just never did it for real. <laughs> um, here's that message, that sentiment that I stamped out and I did triple stack it so it had a little bit of dimension. I didn't feel like using double foam tape. So I have my horses again here and then I'm going to pop them up on my dark brown hill. And of course I had to use the balloon because it's so super cute. As you can see, I'm having trouble here trying to commit to adhering my images. I just wanted to make sure it was in the perfect spot. Um, here is that sun from the Stitch Sky set. I just had a bunch of them on my desk and um, I also wanted this card to kind of match the other card too. So I wanted to have some elements that were the same. I did cut that sun a little bit so I could tuck it in into those hills. And here's a look at the completed cards. I really love the cowboy slash Western theme for these horses. And that's it, that was Zodiac Horse. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give this video a like. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the Mama Elephant YouTube channel. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Happy crafting, bye guys. Hope to see you tomorrow for another video.